Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day and today's video is going to be a Q&A. Today we're just going to answer some of your questions you guys asked me on my Instagram story and I also got this thing from YouTube here to unbox first. I, I wanted to unbox it um, as like I've always freaking wanted this um, and it's been my goal for for three or four years now on this channel and I got it and I wanted to unbox it but unboxing isn't like unboxing one thing isn't like the most exciting YouTube video so we're gonna unbox it then we're gonna answer some of your questions and I am I don't know why but I'm super super nervous to open this box but let's get into it okay guys so I've been posting on my channel consistently for years I think I started in January of 2014 with beauty videos and I started out with three times a week, very quickly fell in love with it and went to five times a week. And then I went daily um, in 2017. And now I try to post at least five times a week. I, I Sometimes I can get like the whole week and I post maybe once or twice a week. I do miss it though. But just because it's a lot more work than it originally was when I started out. But it's still so much fun and I'm... <sighs> I work... <laughs> I'm not trying to toot my own horn, okay? But I work so much. Like, between filming and editing constantly, the editing takes forever. <laughs> and then making the thumbnails and just, like, trying to reach out to brands and emailing people and, like, everything that comes with it that people don't see behind the scenes. If I am by myself, I can't sit around and do nothing. I'm either, like, cleaning the house, working on something, or I am working my butt off. And I love this so much and it's so much fun and I'm so grateful to do this every day you guys have no idea and it I never thought when I started it would like pay off into anything but I honestly have like the dream job I really do so let's open my 100k plaque I hit it back in March um but with everything the world falling into crap and everything apparently like my little Thing got slipped through, but I contacted YouTube and they got back to me about ah, getting my plaque. Isn't it so cool to get a box at your house that says YouTube? <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, there's a certificate. Okay, so it says uh, it says you've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You have an astonishing 100,000 people subscribed to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can be really, can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality of the six digit milestone. Each and every person who subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created, do or inspired, challenged or entertained. I'm not gonna continue reading it because I feel like y'all would get bored with it, but um, I gotta start. <sighs> it's prettier than I expected. I got a play button. So this little card says congratulations on your milestone. This award was inspected and packaged with great care by Rick. Thanks, Rick. Um, I got, I got play. Uh, I'm gonna take it out because this box is getting kind of big and heavy. And I just did my makeup and I'm not trying to ruin it. It says porcelain on it. What? Hold on. Okay. It says porcelain on it. You guys, look. That's me. You probably can't even see that because the bright lights are so bright. And I may have cut my knuckle on the corner of this, but that's okay. It's a little dirty, actually. Like, there's some blemishes on it, but I got a 100k plaque for YouTube. That's so cool. I want to put it in my backdrop, right? But the mirror part is so reflective that I can't. But it has little things so I can hang it. That's pretty nice. And I have 100,000 subscribers. You <laughs> oh, I was, when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I was, a couple months ago, I was having a really, really hard time. And I feel like I was robbed of the enjoyment of what my whole goal was, like, it has been for years. 
And now that I see this in my hands, I'm in a better place mentally. It's just so real and crazy. And thank you guys so much. Like, really. I got 100. Okay. I'm going to put this down now and get to the Q&A because I'm not trying to cry. But thank you guys so much. Um, I'm going to calm down and then we'll answer your questions. All right, guys. So I got a lot of questions, so I'm not going to be able to answer all of them. But... We can do another one in the future, you guys. So the first one says, how are you doing? And I'm honestly great. I'm doing really well. <sighs> I've been trying to keep busy between like house projects, making my apartment feel like a place to live and just working all the time. And I'm really enjoying the videos I'm putting out lately. They're not doing as good as like, you know, like huge channels or whatever, but I thoroughly enjoy the videos I've been making lately. So I'm happy with, you know, how everything's going right now. The next question is, are you glad you moved to Florida in 1,000%? Yes, I needed that kick in the butt to get out of a comfort zone I was in for so long and to try something new. And as scary and terrifying as it was, I love Florida so much. And it's always warm. I mean, even the winter, like January, February does get kind of cold, but it's not cold enough where I have to sacrifice wearing a dress, you know? So yeah, I'm very glad I moved to Florida. The next question is, do you draw? No, I have no artistic ability. <laughs> I am all for spray painting stuff all day long, but I have zero like art skills whatsoever. The next question is how did you get into lashes? What was the first brand you used? So I've always wanted to wear lashes, like always, because people look so good with them and they give you that little extra oomph, you know? Um, but I, I could not do it. It took me like six months before I could get a pair on and like leave the house and feel comfortable. It took me forever to learn how to do it. People just say use little tweezery things. I don't do that. I use my fingers to apply it and I feel like that just how it worked for me. So you can try it with little tweezers. You can try it with a lash applicator. You can try it with your fingers. See what works for you. And the first brand I tried out was Ardell because my local Sally's always had them on clearance. They were cheap. Next question is how is Zatchel? And I still don't know yet. It's It's been too soon for me to know. Right now he's been given some medicine to make him eat like you gotta like kind of into his mouth he hates it but it'll make him eat and he's eating a little bit not as much as like Azriel or a normal cat would eat but he's eating a little more so i'm hopeful that we don't have to do like full blood work stuff to like see everything and yeah and he already has anxiety problems as it is so i'm hoping he just gets better but he is going to have to go to the vet and it's just not going to be a fun time because he's not eating enough even with a little medicine. Next question is, what is the worst eyeshadow palette you've ever used? And this is hard, but the first thing that comes to mind is White Peach by Too Faced. Too Faced has some great products, do not get me wrong, but the White Peach palette was just so dusty. <laughs> it was not a good time. We did a video on it though. I thought I liked the video, but I was also really frustrated with the palette. This one's fun and very relevant to this video and it says tell us something you love about your job. I love that I get to pick what I make every day. I love that. I love that I get to sit there, make my schedule for the week, know what I'm going to film what days, know what I'm going to edit what days, know what I want to make, what I want to play with that day. It's super, super fun. Super fun. Editing, not my favorite part of it, but it does, like that's how I start off my mornings usually is editing and it kind of gets me going through the work day, you know? Next question is, what's your next hair color? I might go kind of red just to, for the time being. I might like, cause this needs to be touched up. I know it's kind of bad. I'm thinking about just letting it fade out to orange in August, but I might make it kind of red because in August I plan on going orange again for the spooky season. Next up says, at the moment, what is your go-to blush? Also love your videos. Thank you. My go-to blush right now is that Lunar Beauty Moon Spell Palette, you guys. That blush palette. <laughs> it's so good. I'm also really liking the Kaleidos Makeups Little Duos. But, like, right now I'm dipping into, like, three shades at a time of that Lunar Beauty palette. It's so pretty. This is a really good question, actually, and I don't think I've ever been asked this. It says, how do you clean your lashes in order to reuse them constantly? And honestly, I don't. That sounds kind of gross, right? But honestly, I peel them off at the end of the day. I let them... I put them back in their container and the next time I wear them I kind of just like take off the extra glue from last time and then the bands clean and I just reuse them so 
yeah <laughs> also if something is a weak band i will let the old glue sit on it and then i'll put more glue on top just to thicken the band a little bit it sounds gross but i admit to what i do <laughs> so this question is how did you become a cat mom what's the best thing about your cats i've always had cats i've always had pets growing up my first pet was a dog named Sydney, and then shortly after we got a cat named Ripley, and I loved that solid black, or I mean solid white cat so much, and I just always had cats, I've always had cats. My, like, my personal, like, we've had a lot of cats, but my personal, like, my babies were Ripley, then we had Tito, then we had Mr. Waffles, and now it's Azriel. she's my baby, so... I have had a lot of cats through the years and I I just love cats so this question I have always been nervous by answering I don't know why it's not a big deal but it says if it's not too personal have you ever dated a girl story I know you semi mentioned it no I've never dated a girl I I personally like this is just my own thought mentality think that everyone has a little bit of bi in them I semi identify as bi curious I am very attracted to girls especially drag queens that look like really sexy girls with like the big boobs and stuff I'm very attracted to that but I think I would always personally just date a man as my personal preference like girls are beautiful I mean <laughs> Gwen Stefani let's <laughs> But to me, I would always, I've always just wanted a man by my side as far as like dating wise. And some people are going to think that as bad as like, oh, if you're interested in girls, why wouldn't you date girls? I'm not saying I wouldn't. I'm just saying my personal preference has always been leading towards males. So I've always dated men. I've never dated a girl. Um, but yeah, so by curious is the answer, I guess. This one's interesting and I don't know if I can come up with a quick response, but we're going to try. So this says, if you could have a dinner party with any three people, living or dead, who would they be? Marilyn Monroe, Johnny Depp. See, this is hard. Marilyn Monroe and Johnny Depp are like my go-to like answers. And I'm going to say, I'm going to pick someone else alive just because I could probably relate to them slightly better than like my old Hollywood loves, but Marilyn's still up there. So I'm going to say... Hmm, this is hard. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I'm just... <clears throat> let's say Gwen. So let's say Marilyn Monroe, Johnny Depp, and Gwen Stefani. Not that I wouldn't drool over Gwen the entire... And Marilyn. Not that I wouldn't drool over all three of them at the same time. But, yeah, that's my answer. I don't know. I've answered this question a lot. It says, favorite eyeshadow, not a palette, but a single eyeshadow, Ice Angel by Sugar Pill, which is the Edward Scissorhands palette, but like a single version of it. Next question is from Amanda Kimmy. It says, what's your favorite thing to do when you're not doing YouTube? And that's true crime stuff. I think we know this. I love true crime podcasts. Right now I'm finishing them in the last episode of Painkiller, which is about the fentanyl ep epidemic. It's like an eight episode series and that's it so it was easy for me to just breeze through today but i just love true crime podcasts and true crime shows yeah <laughs> next question is where do you see yourself in five years and i have no idea i didn't think i'd be here five years ago at all but i would love to still be doing youtube i know like that's a long time to be doing youtube i've already been doing it for four years so like that's a long time to be doing it but honestly i love it so much like I would just love to be up here and watching my channel grow like this is what I want to be doing yes I would love to have my own brand in the future too but as of right now I'm thoroughly happy with what I do the real Sarah Malik asks what are your favorite things to DIY I personally just love spraying something like taking something that is like meh looking and painting it like painting it or spray painting it and giving it a whole new coat and a whole new life to it i think that's so fun i just love making things look way better than they originally did like my face before i put makeup on. <laughs> make it look better <laughs> okay so the next question is what do you want your next tattoo to be i am open to new tattoo ideas i don't know i've always wanted a beyond belief tattoo um, I think Unsolved Mysteries is a little slightly overdone, but still a classic. So I think I would do Beyond Belief since less people have seen it and it's more true to like what I watched the most as a kid. So I'll get a Beyond Belief Factor Fiction tattoo. But I am I have no idea what my next tattoo will be because I'm open to these things. Once you have like, you know, a bunch of them, it's just, even though I, I kind of regret getting color on top of my arm. I don't know. Once you have a bunch of them, 
it, it care you care less i think <laughs> this is not true to everyone i'm sure i don't want to speak for everyone but like once you get going with it you're just happy to have new art i think next question is where would you travel to if you had an unlimited budget first of all unlimited budget sounds crazy but i would love to see ireland i think like italy's another answer like greece i love like historic stuff so seeing like ruins and the Colosseum and stuff seems fun like Greece and Rome and all that area but like Ireland seems so beautiful and Italy seems so beautiful and they're both warm part of the year so I would stay somewhere that's warm sometimes and I think that's I would just love to travel Europe I think like Caribbean islands and stuff are fun but like I want to see like a whole different world and I think Europe is a whole different world from where I am now a lot of questions are about my love life and I've decided to keep that portion of my life private just because it doesn't end well usually, you know? Like if anything progresses into something more than just dating, maybe I would tell you guys, I'd consider telling you guys, but as of like just dating people, I'm keeping that private. Just, you know, <laughs> people still ask me what happened to Daniel and that was years ago and then I had another boyfriend I showed you guys and that didn't go over well. So I'm just gonna keep that part private and hope you guys understand why. Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. Hi Annette, how are you? Says, what's your favorite snacks? Savory and sweet. So my favorite snacks, sweet wise, are Twizzlers. I love Twizzlers. I also love Cracker Jack. <laughs> and this thing called Munch, which I recently discovered is like little chunks of peanut brittle and I love that. Um, but Twizzlers is like my go-to like favorite sweet thing. My favorite savory snacks. I don't know if this counts as savory, but I love cashews. And hmm, savory snacks. I love these flaming hot dill pickle chips from Lay's. I love spicy stuff. Like I love spicy stuff. So and dill pickle with the hot stuff is just so good. So dill pickle flaming hot chips from Lay's are the bomb. Also the Southern sweet heat chips from Lay's Southern Sweet Heat are just so good. So that's my answer on that one, thanks. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, this video is getting kind of long and I don't wanna keep you here forever. I do have a ton more questions. So if you guys want me to answer the rest of them, I will, just let me know. So thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great day wherever you are again. Thank you for this. Like, you guys made this happen. I didn't make it happen and I really appreciate you so much. So thank you guys and I'll see you later.